Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain FMCW altimeter in great details. Here I'll cover basics, block diagram, working and calculation of range and velocity of target using FMCW altimeter. Let us begin this video with first agenda that is basics of FMCW altimeter. See FMCW altimeter that is FMCW radar only but FMCW altimeter that we use it to identify height of the target with respect to earth surface. You can observe one example over here. Here one aeroplane is given and at the bottom of aeroplane we are attaching FMCW altimeter means FMCW radar over here and with the use of that FMCW altimeter we can identify height of aeroplane with respect to ground plane. By having transmission of signal and echo signal, radar can identify height of aeroplane. Usually it is helpful in landing of aeroplane. With FMCW radar system, I have made one separate video in which I have explained basic structure. But here I will be explaining you bit advanced structure of FMCW radar system. See FMCW radar system is nothing but it is frequency modulated continuous wave radar. Here we will be transmitting high power high frequency signal where frequency of signal will be changing with respect to function means transmitted signal is frequency modulated. So here frequency of signal will vary with respect to time. With the use of FMCW radar system, we can identify range as well as motion of target using bead frequency. Bead frequency that is equals to FR plus or minus FD. Here FR that is range frequency and this FD that is Doppler frequency. This range frequency that we use it to identify range of the target. Here in case of FMCW altimeter, we can use this range frequency to identify height of target and this Doppler frequency that we use it to identify motion of target means velocity of target. Here with simple structure of FMCW radar system we have seen input frequency that was bead frequency and bead frequency is there in terms of few kilohertz only. So you can say input frequency is lower over here. And as if you have input frequency which is lower with receiver system, in that case there are higher chances of flicker noise. And to avoid issues of flicker noise, we can use IF frequency. IF frequency is higher frequency. So if you use higher frequency at input of receiver, then, can, then you can avoid issues of flicker noise. Flicker noise is proportional to 1 divided by input frequency to the power alpha where this alpha is unity. So you can say input frequency that is inversely proportional to flicker noise. So lower the input frequency, higher the flicker noise. And to avoid issues of flicker noise, we need to increase input frequency of receiver. And that one can do with the use of IF frequency. So now I'll explain you block diagram of FMCW radar system with IF frequency added with receiver system. In basic structure of FMCW radar system, we have three major elements, antenna, transmitter and receiver. If you observe here, we have two separate antennas. One is for transmitter and second is for receiver. Here transmitter is functioning at high power and receiver functions at low power. So here with the use of two separate antennas, we can provide excellent isolation in between transmitter and receiver. See transmitted signal that will be there in terms of few kilo volts to mega volts. While received echo signal by this antenna that will be there in terms of 10 to the power minus 12 volt to 10 to the power minus 15 volt. So it is very essential to provide isolation in between transmitter and receiver circuit. Here we provide excellent isolation with the use of two separate antennas. If you use single antenna, then you will have to use duplexer. But here we are providing two separate antennas. Now, if you talk about transmitter circuit, 
then here with the use of transmitter circuit we will be transmitting f not t frequency over here and that signal will be frequency modulated that frequency modulation that we do it with the use of fm modulator over here see this fm modulator that will be modulating frequency over here modulating frequency means frequency will change with respect to time here this fm modulator that will be modulating frequency as per a triangular wave so if you observe transmitted signal then its frequency will be changing as per triangle you see like this so here we are using fm modulator by which frequency of transmitted signal by black color you can observe that is changing as per triangular wave right and here we are transmitting that continuously as per fmcv w radar right so here frequency of transmitted signal that is f not t that is changing as per triangular shape and that will be having high power over here now see this same signal that we give it to receiver circuit as well as a reference signal now if you talk about receiver then here with receiver antenna we will be receiving f not dash t frequency that is bit delayed of transmitted signal see here we are transmitting signal with this frequency by black color you can observe and by green color you can observe we are receiving echo signal so that is also having shape which is triangular shape right it is bit delayed one you can say and that delay will define range of the target right so here f not f not dash t that is received signal over here and this is advanced receiver over here if you have seen my last video based on fmcw radar system in which i have explained you basic block diagram where we were been using this f not t and f not dash t directly to the mixture and then we were been identifying range as well as velocity of target but here there was issue here input signal that was having frequency that was fb over here that is bead frequency and bead frequency is there in terms of few kilohertz only if input frequency is lower then flicker noise is higher so here with this system with this system we have higher flicker noise and to avoid that issue what we do is we will be using if signal intermediate frequency signal with the use of intermediate frequency signal we will be increasing input frequency of receiver so here you see this f not t that is given to mixture along with local oscillator that is generating fif that is intermediate frequency now response of this mixture that is having three different bands f not t f not t plus fif and f not t minus fif means three frequencies are there see with this three frequencies if you observe f not t plus if and f not t minus if so both of these bands are having same information so what we will be doing is we will be eliminating f not t and f not t plus fif with the use of sideband filter sideband filter will be only allowing f not t minus fif to pass through it means we will be blocking these two components now f not t minus fif that will be given to mixture and second signal will be received echo signal over here so here this mixture that will be taking difference of this two and over here output will be bead frequency plus fif previously we were been getting bead frequency only but now we are adding fif with the use of local oscillator so now over here we will be having input frequency of this receiver that is bead frequency plus fif this bead frequency will be f not t minus f not dash t right now this signal which is fb plus fif that is given to amplifier after that again we will be giving it to balanced detector or you can say second mixture with this second mixture this local oscillator that is giving fif over here and that we are multiplying it with this and we are eliminating this fif component and over here output will be fb only right fb means bead frequency and in my last video also i have told you bead frequency that is a combination of range frequency and doppler frequency so bead frequency that is fr plus or minus fd 
Now this bead frequency that we give it to low frequency amplifier and after that this bead frequency that will be given to switched frequency counter and average frequency counter by which we can identify velocity and range. Let me explain you how. If you observe the waveforms, then here in waveforms, you see this is transmitted signal by black color you can observe. And by dashed line, you can observe that is received echo signal frequency. Here, bead frequency that is difference in between transmitted and received signal frequency. So here, bead frequency, if you observe here, then that is F r minus f d range frequency minus doppler frequency and over here when frequency is falling over here at that time this bead frequency is f r plus f d so here this bead frequency waveform that we will be giving it to that will be giving it to switch frequency counter and average frequency counter with the use of switched frequency counter, we can get velocity. Let me explain you how. If you talk about this waveforms, then here there are few basic things that you need to know. See, when this frequency is rising, at that time bead frequency is FR minus FD. And when this frequency is falling, at that time this bead frequency that is FR plus FD. That I have already derived in my last video even. Right. Now, See, if you take average of this two, if you take average of this bead frequency, so average means bead frequency up plus bead frequency down divided by two. So if you take average of it, then you will be having range frequency, right? So here what we do is, here we will be giving this bead frequency to average frequency counter and we identify range with the use of range frequency and same bead frequency that we give it to switch frequency counter. So in switch frequency counter, what we do is, we provide VFB down minus VFB up divided by two, where we'll be getting Doppler frequency. Once you have range frequency and Doppler frequency, then you can easily identify range and velocity as per these equations. And these equations also I have derived in my last videos. So I'm not going to explain those equations again and again. You can easily understand by watching those videos, right? I hope you have understood all those things. Still, if anything that you'd like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.